Hello everyone. In this video, we learn about the Zoho Payroll HSBC integration. With this integration, you can directly deposit your employee's salary into their bank accounts. First, let's see how to set up the integration. Log into Zoho Payroll, click the settings icon in the top right corner and select direct deposit. Click the setup now button next to HSBC Bank. If you don't have the necessary credentials to integrate Zoho Payroll with HSBC, click request for a new account link to create an account. Once you do so, enter your organization and contact details. The HSBC team will get in touch with you and help you create a new HSBC corporate account. If you have the credentials to integrate Zoho Payroll with HSBC, then fill in the following information. Your profile ID, client ID, client secret, HSBC public key, which will be shared as a file with you through your email, your HSBC bank account, and a secret PIN, which will help you initiate payments in Zoho Payroll. Next, agree to the terms and conditions and click Save. You've successfully set up your account to process direct deposits of your employee's salaries. Please note that you'll not be able to edit these credentials in Zoho Payroll once you've set up the integration. To edit, you'll need to delete the integration and set it up once again with the new credentials. Next, we'll have to add the payments detail of your employees to deposit salaries. To do this, go to Employees module on the left sidebar. Here, you can choose an existing employee or create a new one. For existing employees, you can edit and update the payment mode to direct deposit. For new employees, enter details such as their basics, salary details, personal info, and mark the payment mode as direct deposit in the payment info section. Now enter the bank account details and click save and continue. After adding your employee's bank account details, let's see how you can start crediting salaries to the accounts. Go to the pay runs module on the left sidebar, generate a new pay run for a particular period and approve it. Now click initiate payment on the top right side of the page. After doing this, the payment status of the employee will be yet to pay. Please note that the payment will be initiated only for the employees whose payment mode is direct deposit. Enter the secret PIN. You have only 5 attempts to enter the right PIN. If you fail to do so, the integration will be marked inactive and you'll have to delete the integration and set it up again. The payment will be initiated once you authorize the payment in HSBC Net. If you had initiated a NEFT payment from within Zoho Payroll, you'll have to authorize that payment using file level authorization. To do this, log into HSBC Net, go to the menu and select Payments and Transfers. Click File Authorization and you can view the files of the NEFT payments that you have initiated from Zoho Payroll. Select the file and click Review Files. Click Authorize File to authorize a payment or you can click Reject File to reject the payment. Once you authorize a file, the payment will be sent for further authorization. If done successfully, the corresponding pay run status in Zoho Payroll will be updated to paid. In case the payment fails, you can retain the payment from within the pay runs page. There may be times when you would want to stop making payments through your HSBC corporate account or change your account details. In such a case, you can choose to delete the integration. Let's see how to do this. Go to Settings in the top right corner and select Direct Deposit. Next to HSBC Bank, click Delete Integration. Click Yes to confirm. The integration will be deleted and you can choose to set it up again if required. Once you delete the integration, you will not be able to track the status of any transactions you've initiated. With this, we hope you've got a good understanding of the Zoho Payroll HSBC integration. If you have any queries, do reach out to us at support at the rate zohopayroll.com. Thank you.